Put now the Red Devils are in desperate need of a win after drawing their opening three games in the Europa League, leaving them 22nd in the table on three points. With new coach Ruben Amarin joining the club after the international breaks, interim boss Ruth Van Nistelrooy has been speaking to the media ahead of the game tonight. He was asked how he expects his role to change at Old Trafford once the new manager comes in. It's, it's difficult to comment on that now. I'm waiting uh, uh, conversation to, uh, conversations to take place. And in the meantime, obviously, there's one thing that's the most important for this football club now is getting getting um, the work done on a daily basis. Uh, and that's my job. So I'm focused on that and, and, and the others. I, as I said, I, uh, I welcome uh, Ruben. Um, happy here to help and help him. And, 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 and that's the, the situation for the moment. Uh, yes, that's the interim manager, Ruud van Nistelrooy there. He's had three games. He's had uh, a nice victory at home to Leicester, a draw at the weekend against Chelsea, and now he's got Pauk at home. Um, uh, of course, in the Europa League. Uh, Emmanuel, how would you feel if you're Amarin mm -hmm. and Ruud van Nistelrooy mm -hmm. is there right now? Mm -hmm. Do you keep him or do you say, thank you very much, but I'm bringing my backroom staff in? Why? I don't know why you're asking this this question. Why do you think it's uh, Van Nistelrooy is a risk? Yeah, is a danger for mm, the manager. I do. That's what you think. Yeah, I don't believe in it. No. Otherwise, you, so you otherwise you, they would have kept him in as a, a first manager. So you know? keep Rude. Yeah, I will keep him. Yeah, because I think I uh, down doesn't get the same experience and Almoin. You know Almoin. Do you know the? Um, and when, what what he did, you know, so far with Sporting. Yeah, I've seen, seen what he's done, yes. Mm. It's amazing yes, what he did. Yeah, yeah. yeah, You know, when he first came at the club, you know, the club was struggling financially and, and uh, on the pitch as well. And uh, in space of five years, he transformed completely the club, you know. And they won twice the, the title. They won the uh, Portugal uh, 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 National Cup. I oh, know, the boys, the boys knows what he's doing. Yeah, that, that's what I said. But in terms, I think, for me, if I am Armoin, I have no... No problem at all to to work with uh, Van Nistelrooy. Oh, oh no! Not worried about him stabbing you in the oh, back, no, Emmanuel. Okay. You're me. very you're very trusting. No, I mean, to be honest, uh, I, I, I I believe that uh, uh, the owner of Manchester United, so uh, Radcliffe, um, because got the intelligence and um, the knowledge, you know, to choose uh, the the people. Um, I'm pretty sure that. Uh, He's been successful so far in the sport, you know, for ages. So what happening? You you know what happened with Ten Hag? You know, it's it's over. Right. I know that uh, the, um, it's a gamble with Almorin because, okay, he, they won four one against Manchester City, and uh, there is a big, big, big ex excitement, you know, uh, from the Manchester United fans. I can understand that, but if I am him, I won't be worried at all to to work with Van Nistelrooy. Right. Right. Oh, no, he's, he's got to go for me. Yeah. Yeah, he's got to go. And the only reason I say that, Emmanuel, I get what you're saying, is that I think going into that job for, for Amarim, it's a massive job, biggest job. Like, he might never get a bigger job than this. This is... Uh, well, it, there aren't many out there. That, but, I mean, it, name it, a bigger job it, than... I mean, you know... Real Madrid's the first I mean, one. You know what I mean? Yeah. But it's, so just, it's up there. Yeah. And I just think he's been so successful at sporting with his own people around him. Mm. And so he trusts these people that are around him. Like, obviously, Ten Hag was... Um, Venezuela was there with Ten Hag. I'm not yeah. saying he's the reason, but... He, Van Nistelrooy's ambition is to become another manager, right? To be a manager. So he's almost waiting for the opportunity because that's what he is. Yeah. He's obviously trying to climb the ladder. But for me, Amarim, I'd say, listen, you've been fantastic, but no, he's tough. So you're, to you're, you're like me. You're a bit suspicious. Yeah. I mean, no. Too, I mean, yeah. Also, there is no, for me, no, no risk at all because uh, <laughs> Van Nistelrooy, uh, his, his uh, experience on the bench is not that big, you know? Mm. And we all know that when you're seconds, you know, hiding behind the first manager maybe you're looking for to take his place you know but come on no, after every Emmanuel. single manager that, no. that went to uh, to Manchester United on the bench big names you know after big names do you think that uh, if things doesn't go well with Al Marin, they're going to sack him they're going to put uh, Van Nistelrooy on, on the bench maybe I don't believe that maybe. at all I Maybe. don't believe that at all. I, I don't think that, but I, I just think that Amarim, for this big job, and it's a big job, because Manchester United, as you rightly said earlier, is a bit of a mess. It's got so much to sort out. I just feel more comfortable. So why why don't you continue with uh, Van Nistelrooy and you choose to, to take uh, Almoy in? Because I think Amarim's better. So then you don't need Rude. Let Rude... Rude. So, Congratulations. Do you think that Amarim is scared about Van Nistelrooy? No, I'm not saying he's scared, but I don't. He knows. He knows how it works in football. He but, knows but, that. Yeah. <laughs> the remember... second manager, you know, is waiting to take your job. Everybody knows that in every single club. I get that, but I just think for Amarim, 
I'd rather go into that job with people that I know rather than someone that was there before I got there. I don't know what it says about you and me, Benty. Right? I'm but, not having him. Got, <laughs> got, 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 clearly, <laughs> Emmanuel is very trusting. I think it says we're probably not very nice people. No, no, I said, thanks. This is yeah, really fantastic, but yeah. you got to go. You stab you in the back. Yeah. No. <laughs> no. No. But, Maybe, maybe he, he will try, you know, to, 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 to get his place, you know, when things doesn't get, get well. But honestly, it's not, no, honestly, I don't believe in it. No? I don't believe in it because for me, get at rid. the moment, Manchester United is too big for, my, for Van Nistelrooy to, take, to, to be course. a manager. Yeah. So whatever happened with Al Maureen, I, 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 it would be a big surprise for me. If they they said to Van Nistelrooy, okay, we give you the chance to be the manager. Yeah. No, I don't believe that. But would you, but would you not rather go into a job as a manager with people that uh, has been successful around you anyway, like at Sporting, your team at Sporting that's been so successful? Uh, Manchester United has been in a mess for years now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they're expecting, you know, the Messi, you know, to change everything in the dressing room and as well on the pitch. So mm -hmm. I think they're going to give him everything he needs, you know, to change the situation at Manchester United. Yeah. yeah. Well, you want to talk about it, gang. I mean, there must be loads of you out there listening now that travelling to Old Trafford for the game. 03717223344. Would you keep Ruud van Nistelrooy? Or do you think that needs to come in, as Benny says there, with just the people around him that he knows? What should Ruben, uh, Ruben Amaran even do with Ruud van Nistelrooy? 03717223344. Uh, Emmanuel says, keep it. Myself and Benny say, get rid. What do you think, Mike, the Man United fan? Good evening. Good evening. All right, Mikey. Absolutely what? Absolutely 100% to keep him. Right. And I'll tell you why. When David Boyce took over as manager, mm -hmm. he, made, he got rid of Mike Phelan, uh, Alex Ferguson's assistant. And Alex Ferguson always said that was the biggest mistake he made as a manager. He did. Getting rid of him because he didn't know the ins and outs of the players. He didn't know that Ferdinand and Vidage couldn't play every game, for example. Right. So this is why he needs that support. He needs someone who knows the players what they can do, what they can't do, which ones are likely to play with injuries, which ones aren't, and so on. So I would absolutely keep it, and I hope the new manager does. Are you going to the game tonight, Mike? Yes, I'm on my way there now. I'm right. about uh, 50 minutes away. All right, make sure you phone the sports bar at 10 o'clock, OK? Get <laughs> we, your you're, you're doing that as well? Get, no, I'm not doing that. I'm at Stanford Bridge. <laughs> Mikey, up in, have a good night, matey. Take care. This is Mike, the main night fan. Keep us. Come to Tone is a main night fan. Tony, good evening. Welcome to Drive. Good evening, good evening, gentlemen. Um, just to echo the uh, previous caller, Mike, um, I would definitely keep him uh, yeah. because I've got a bit of an issue with the Man United system. Yeah. Over the last few years, we've had some great defenders, great midfielders. None of them really want to stick around to actually help the development of other players in that their respective positions. Right. Ferdinand could have stayed behind and helped coach and help the manager in that capacity. Carrick could have done that, but he decided to go on to become a manager himself. I would mm. definitely keep Van Nistelrooy. Van Nistelrooy, when he was in the Premiership, was lethal. And he could only do good to teach these uh, strikers positioning and play. We had that for a short while with uh, Cavani. Mm. When, if you watch him when he came off the bench, he would talk to, at the time, uh, Greenwood and uh, Rashford and say, look, hold this position, do this, while he was on the pitch. Mm. He eventually left because Ronaldo came um, and all that business. But I would keep uh, Van Nistelrooy because he could only give them experience. I don't mm. think he's a threat. T Tony, the, Tony, the only thing I'd say about that, and, and I, I agree with that, right? But the only thing I'd say is that how long has he been there? What's he been doing then? Because he's been there for what a few months and there's been no impact in terms of the centre forwards. So what's he been doing for three months? Well, we don't know what capacity he was allowed to do what. I mean, he was under the... Um, the stewardship of uh, Ten Hag. Mm. So if he goes there and he actually sells his point to the new manager and say, look, I know you're here, uh, you're going to run the show, mm. let me be your strikers coach, he might welcome that. He might think, you know what, I'll take that on board. The guy is a legend at the club. He's, he's doing it um, for year in, year out as a player. He can only do that now <laughs> and pass his experience off to these players. So, so much he can give, and he's not a threat as a manager. As you, you said, know what, Tony? The only thing I'd say about that, right, is that it's a great call, is that it's, it takes a lot to go from a manager. He's under manager at the minute. He's currently got the reins mm. to then going back to a striker's coach. I mean, that... Is he, would he that's do that, Rude? That's a downgrade. That's a, that's a big that's drop off that. isn't it? Like I mean, Tamo Vigo, you mean? No, yeah, but for, like, for, for Vanistro right yeah. now, he's got, and then to go to just the striker's coach? He wants to be a manager. What choice does, does he have, actually? 
Mm. Yeah. Is he linked with uh, clubs? Uh, no. Well, no, he, mm. he's not. But because he's done all right since he's been at Manchester United, there, mm -hmm. there were a couple of... I think it might be a bit of lazy journalism saying that Ruud van Nistelrooy might be linked, Southampton might be looking for a manager, Wolves might be looking for a manager. I think there might be a little bit of that. Putting yeah, two and two together without actually having any much info. Try to be Armorin for a few seconds. Mm -hmm. If he doesn't say to uh, the board of Manchester United, mm. OK, I come, uh, but I don't want one historical close to me. Yeah. It's simple. In, in five seconds, it's over. It's mm. finished. That's right. He didn't do that. Mm. So I, I presume that for him, it's not a risk to work with okay. one, one right. historical. Mm, there you go. OK, all right. Let's go and speak to Tim, who's a United fan. All right, Tim. Yeah, how you doing? You are, mate. All right. You going to the game, Tim? I'm not, sadly. No. Stuck in Surrey in traffic. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Macy, what do you want to say? Yeah, I'm, I'm ambivalent. I, I, as far as I'm concerned, I'll leave it up to Ruben. At the end of the day, Van Nistelrooy was a fantastic player for Man United. Mm. He's an average coach. He could become a very good coach. He's not a particularly good manager, as his record shows. Mm. But ultimately, Ruben's got to work with him. He's bringing five of his own coaches. There's going to be a ton of backroom staff that he mm. didn't appoint anyway yeah. who work in different roles at the club. Mm. Um, the, ultimately, the proof's in the pudding. If Ruud can get on board with the tactics and the role that Amarin's prepared to offer him, he'll have a decision to make. But I'm not particularly worried. We've yeah. got an you don't care, do you, Tim? Tim doesn't care. His own method. You don't care, do you? No, not, not particularly. No, not as long as so, Amarin does the job. Talk Sport Drive with Andy Goldstein. Monday to Friday afternoon from 4 on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.